depreciation, uh, I left that blank. I didn't take that because there's going to be a question of stranded assets. George Powell, we made an agreement with them to guarantee them a certain yield and on their coal fired plants or anything they do. In other words, for them to get to take, take their shareholder money under written by us, we make a promise back to them that we will not, uh, we will give them a certain return on their effort. And so if, you, if we suddenly shove too much solar at them, they have a situation called stranded assets. Those assets are not, have not been worked to, the, to, their, to their business end. To their, and it's like you to buy the car and after about four years you got to throw it away. It's not fair to us. We have common sense. So I've left appreciation out. But there was another opportunity to merge here that was sort of not what they were here. Turns out that the right to retirement generate capacity concentrated in the eastern United States is we got we're, we're the winner. We have more coal fired plants that are ready for retirement than any just about other than Alabama, which happens also in some there's about seven gigawatts in there that's ready for time. What you find is that on the two gigawatt analysis I was doing, for every one gigawatt of solar power that comes online that follows the, the, the formula that we proposed, which requires the monopoly. This is, this is why I'm trying to justify. Everybody said, well, why are you trying to cancel the monopoly? Because they're trying to agree to grant all of those if they're not. We're just, a, we're just the architects of the plan. That's all we are. So we'll have a little bit of this, but it'll be a little time to teach. This will become a publicly traded company, not anything else. But there's a reason for the monopoly. When we originally set up Georgia Power, not us, but the forefathers set it up, there was a lot that you do to accumulate everybody's credit worthiness and give it to one company. That logic hasn't changed. The same logic exists today. Now, when you've got a new technology and you're trying to get it out, then you do feed into it. Or you do power purchase agreements to incentivize people to put the money in. But we're past that point. <coughs> Great book called by Jockey Warhol, Technology Uptake Cycle. Really worth studying the graphs of that. Because what we find is that we're no longer in the early adoption phase. We're, we're up the graph. Solar is a proven technology. So in doing so, why not go, why don't we make ourselves available to proven, less expensive methods of finance? So that rather than put in inexpensive arrays, we can put in these really fancy, long lives of tracking. Now, there's a little more maintenance on this, but the production overwhelms it. So, again, as a, as, a, as a justification as to why to go to monopoly, you know, allows us as people to aggregate our credit worthiness so that the least of our ratepayers, if they want to be, take advantage of the, of, the, of the solar promise on their bill, all they have to do to make the investment is check a box that says, if there's solar on the grid from George Solar, I want it first. Give it to me. And, well, and all that happens, and what that sets in motion for them, is that over time, we know how, much, how many kilowatt hours they've used. They become eligible for this. <coughs> In the analysis, as I pay off everybody, I sell the electricity. And, and, and Gosu takes 11% that George Power is going to take. Something drops out the bottom end. In this case, year one, $198 million. And works out that's pretty close to 4.7 to 4.8 cents of cost of coal. Real close. Start paying for this array.